YouTube people and welcome back. Over on Patreon, we're having such fun with a new series called How Things Work. And for today's episode, we're doing how the optical thermometer works. And it's fascinating. And just as I hoped, some Patreons have more information about how it's used secretly by the RAF to check for infrared tally lights on aircraft. Come and join us on Patreon and join the discussion. Hey and welcome back. Do you share with me a desire to actually have the knowledge of how things really work? You know, who invented the wire stripper? Why does a laser thermometer measure temperature? Why is the bottom of my scribe so flat? <laughs> yeah. Who invented the scissors? These are all things that I need to know. I can't stand not knowing what's inside my electric drill or why my thermocouple fan <sighs> rotates. Join me on a series of films about how things work. Why does this wash your hands when it's just alcohol? What's exactly inside a welding machine? Who invented the bicycle? Why is the Coca-Cola bottle that shape? Join me on an adventure in understanding how things work. Let's start today with how do infrared thermometers work? You know those guys with the laser pointer? Well, first of all, the laser is just a pointer. It's got nothing to do with measuring the temperature. But the way it works is fascinating. Infrared thermometers can measure temperatures from a distance. The distance can be many miles or just a fraction of an inch. I mean, astronomers use it, or you can use it for pointing in your ear and telling the temperature of your body. They're often used to take temperatures of dangerous objects like pointing at molten metal in a steelworks because you can use them at a safe distance. So how do they work? Well, just fascinating. They work on a phenomenon called black body radiation. So anything at any temperature above absolute zero has molecules inside moving around. The higher the temperature, the faster the molecules move. As they move, the molecules emit infrared radiation. Now, we can't see it with our eyes, but that's what the detector in the thermometer can see. And you can see the phenomenon with your own eyes. Have you ever heated up a piece of metal and it starts glowing a dull red and then orange, yellow, and eventually it would become white hot or even blue if you got it hot enough. And that's when the temperature range has left the infrared and turned into the visible spectrum, the bit that we see with our own eyes. Suddenly it goes from the invisible, just because we can't see it because we don't have the sensors in our head, into the dull red, ooh, that's part of our spectrum, and then through the color change, which we use as an indication of how hot things are. But below the dull red is a whole spectrum of colors which we can't see that the infrared thermometer can. And because this infrared light can be focused, just like normal light through a lens, it's focused inside the device on something called a thermopile, which measures the infrared color. 
and then the thermal pile turns what it sees into an electrical signal and that's displayed as a temperature and it's pretty accurate we really love these infrared thermometers we use it for the pizza oven that you wouldn't want to put your hand in but one of the best uses and i think this is fabulous you can hold it up to your ear and measure the temperature down inside your inner ear which is pretty well the core temperature of your body which in these days of weird zombie apocalypse could be really useful to check on your health. Let me know what uses you have for infrared thermal thermometers and let me know if you know more about them than I do because the truth is out there. 